Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and I am here with a spring card project for you. Um, this project is going to be a very simple, clean looking project and when I think of spring I just think of the pastel colors and um, lots of white and just that really pure and clean feel. So I am going to start here. I have a piece of vellum here and I just want to show you how I created the piece of vellum that I will be using for this card. So I'm going to start with the vellum and then I am going to bring in some inks here. I have Pool Party, So Saffron, and Pear Pizzazz for my inks. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some colored vellum that I can use on my card. So I'm going to start out with the Pear Pizzazz and I know that I need a long strip of this. So I'm just taking the ink pad and I'm just rubbing it right onto the vellum itself. Now it's okay for me to have that little bit of a um, like streaky effect. I think that adds to the really cool effect that you can get with this technique. So I know I need a long strip, strip of the green so I have that created there. And I am going to then use the So Saffron. I'm going to go ahead and turn my paper. And be careful also when you're doing this. I'm working on a white card base, so I'm going to try to be really careful not to get ink on my fingers when I'm doing this. I just need a small swatch of the yellow. So I'm just going to ink that corner up. And then I need a little bit larger swatch of the blue. And now... I've pre-made my piece that I'm actually going to use, but I have to tell you, this turns out so pretty, this blue. Um, so I'm just going to swipe that over there and create my blue section. Now, you can let this air dry. It will take a little bit, or you can hit it with a heat tool, which is what I did. So I heat set it and um, just made sure that it was all dry so that I could use it without getting my fingers all inky. So this is the finished piece that I have here. And I went ahead and I embossed this portion right here. Like I said, I'm gonna be using a long strip of this. So, um, and this is plenty for me. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this um, Butterfly Punch by Martha Stewart Crafts and I am just going to punch me some butterflies out of this vellum here. So maybe, I'll just punch what I can get out of these. I know I want at least two blues, so I punch three, and then I'll just do a couple yellows here. And you could definitely emboss the butterflies as well. Um, I kind of have like been playing around with this, and I found that I like the butterflies just in their clean and simple state for this card. So I have my butterflies punched out, and then I am going to cut my strip down out of this paper. So I'll go ahead and go to my trimmer to do that. Okay, so I have my vellum pieces, and I just wanted to bring in my Cricut mat because this is where my Cricut comes into this um, particular project. I have cut using the card feature on the Art Philosophy cartridge, this card at five and a half inches. Now, I've used um, a textured white cardstock just to add some interest to the white background since it is a plain white background. Um, I also experimented with doing this with an embossing folder um, and a more busy pattern, but I just liked the clean simplicity. But I did want to show you that this piece comes out too, and you could remove that with your spatula and use this piece for another project. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. I'm going to fold my card base. And this is where um, you don't want to have the ink on your hands from the um, inking of the vellum that you just did because it will get on the white cardstock. So I'm just going to fold my card base there and I can use my bone folder to make a nice pretty crease there. So I have that and this is my card. And like I said, it's going to be so simple. Um, w when it's all completed. So I'm going to go ahead and take this um, piece of green vellum that I created and I am just going to adhere it to the inside of the card. Okay, so you can see that I have my green vellum adhered to the inside. If you wanted to finish this off on the inside, you definitely could and I may go back and do that. But for now, I'm just going to continue to work on this card. 
Um, so I want to stamp my sentiment before I go any further, just so I can figure out. And I'm going to use the Everyday Life set by My Pink Stamper Stamps. And you can check out her stamps at mypinkstamper.com. And I'm going to just use this um, sentiment that says plant seeds of kindness. Um, I have it mounted on my Fisker stamp press. And the reason that I, um, I really like the stamp press, but this is going to help me position it because I'm actually only going to be stamping um, plant seeds at first and then of kindness second. So I'm going to make... Instead of having this be a, you know, more square or rectangle shaped um, sentiment, I am going to have it be a long, skinny sentiment. So I'm just going to ink up in this um, chalk ink. I'm going to try this chalk ink for the first time. Um, I'm just going to ink up the part that says plant seeds. So very carefully, just inking that portion up just that says plant seeds. And then I'm gonna clean the stamp completely. And then I'm gonna ink up the of kindness part and I'm going to stamp that part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my butterflies and I'm going to start adding those to the front of my card. I'm just going to start by positioning them first so I can kind of see where I think I want them. And then I'm going to go back and glue them on. So I have my butterflies glued on, and when I glued them down, I was ma I made sure just to put the glue in the very center of the bodies, and that way I could flip the wings up when I was done. So the next step is just to add some little embellishments to this card, and I think what I'll do is go ahead and add some pearls to the center of these butterflies. So I have just like these little string pearls here that I'm cutting three off. I'm just going to place those right in the center of each butterfly for the body. And for my final embellishment, I have just um, tied a piece of this twine here. This twine is actually from May Arts, or it's jute, I guess it is, not twine. So I've just tied that in a little bow, and I am just going to adhere it um, to the stem of the flower to make it kind of look like it's tied around there. Just an extra little embellishment that I think just adds a little cute natural touch to the this kind of nature themed card anyway. So there is my card for today. You can see more details at sprinkledwithglitter.com, my blog, and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.